Rarely have EU-Turkey relations been as low as they were on this night in Rotterdam. A Dutch decision to stop Turkish politicians from campaigning for a yes vote in the Turkish referendum led to protests by Dutch Turks and clashes with the police. Four weeks later, Turkey narrowly voted yes, but ties between Ankara and Brussels remain strained. And it's under these conditions that Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's meeting with EU leaders on Thursday takes place. In comments made before he flew to Brussels, Erdogan was adamant that the ball was in the EU's court. We have no inclination to break away from the European Union, but the EU should also fulfill its own responsibilities. But Erdogan recently restated Turkey's desire to join the EU and the bloc's foreign policy chief seems open to the idea. The accession process continues. It is not suspended nor ended. But as you might know, we are currently not working on opening any new negotiation chapter. Right now, only 16 of 35 negotiation chapters or policy areas have been opened. And Turkey's entire bid has been stalled for almost a year, when the last chapter was opened. Turkey also wants the European Union to meet its side of a 2016 migrant deal. The deal would have Ankara step up measures to stop thousands of refugees entering Europe. And in exchange, Turks would allow visa-free travel in Europe's Schengen zone, and Turkey would receive billions of dollars in aid. So far, neither has happened. For its part, the EU says Turkey's post-failed coup crackdown and its increased anti-terror laws are slowing down the deal. Another meeting between President Erdogan and his EU counterparts. But will we see an improvement in relations? Turkey's most recent bid to join the EU began in 2005. Everyone agrees it's stalled, but some now think it may have gone beyond the point of no return. Abu Bakr Shemahi, TRT World, Brussels.